Hey there, YouTube family. This is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. I just wanted to drop a quick note and let you know that I released my latest Access Developer class. This is level 48. It's hard to believe I've got 48 of these already. This one is about writing an advanced copy records function. I'm sure you've run into this before where you want to duplicate a record, right? But maybe one or more of those fields in the table are index no duplicates. And so when you try to copy it, eh, you get an error message, right? It can't copy it. Um, you can do it manually, but who likes doing things manually? This is all about VBA, right? Doing things automatically. So what we'll do is we're going to write a function that will copy any record from any table. You don't have to specify the field list, right? And it'll make a copy of it. One or more records. It'll, it'll just skip over any fields that are indexed, no duplicates, including that primary key. Um, Want to learn more about this class? I'll let me tell you more about it. Here's the intro video. Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 48, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to build a function that will allow you to copy one or more records from any table without having to specify field names. I've been contacted many times that trying to duplicate a record is a pain. First of all, there's a macro option for it and it's broken it doesn't work we'll talk about that in lesson one but unless you want to manually copy and paste records yourself it's a pain if you've got any fields that are indexed no duplicates whether it's your auto number field or just any other field like email address if it's indexed no duplicates copying it whether it's with vb code or with sql it's a pain unless you specify the entire list of fields from the table which no one wants to do because if you make changes in the future, if you add fields, change fields, delete fields, you gotta go and update all your code. So we're gonna write a function where you don't have to do that. I like to call it table and field agnostic. It doesn't care. This class follows Access Developer 47. I do strongly recommend you take all my classes in order, not because I'm trying to sell more lessons, but because they really are designed to follow one after the other. Right, my course is best taken in order. All the beginner lessons, expert, advanced developer, uh, developer 1, obviously, intro to VBA. Some other ones that are important. Developer 15, I cover error handling, which we're going to do a lot of today. Developer 16, record sets, definitely take this one. Uh, in 24, we cover the fields collection, which we're going to be using today. And in 26, we cover table defs. So these are all things that I'm going to be using a lot of today. Plus, we got a bunch of new stuff coming up today, including the indexes collection, which is pretty cool. And like I always say, don't skip levels because you're going to miss stuff. This class is recorded with Microsoft Access as part of a 365 subscription, which I strongly recommend. It's currently 2025, January. So if you're using the retail version, this is roughly equivalent to Access 2024. However, the lessons covered today should work with any version going back to probably 2007 or so. I'm not sure exactly when they broke that macro that I talked about earlier, but it's, it, yeah. So this is the version you need. <laughs> If you got any questions regarding the material covered in today's class, scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on and post your questions there. Also take a minute to read through any other questions that have been posted as your answer may have already been answered. And make sure you slam that red subscribe button so you'll get notified if any other questions are posted or answers to your questions. And be sure to check out my Access Forums. I got an awesome group of moderators. They rock. So if you got questions about anything Access related, post it there. Now let's take a closer look at what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to cover the background behind why we want to build the advanced copy records function. We will see how to manually copy a record. That's a beginner task, but we're going to go over it real quick. Then we're going to learn about the broken duplicate record macro. There's a macro item that just doesn't work. It used to work years ago. It doesn't work anymore. Then we'll take that macro and convert it over to VBA code, and I'll show you how to fix it with, of course, one line of code. Then we'll talk about issues with append queries and how you can use them to copy records. But again, you have to know all of the fields that you want to copy individually, which is a pain. We'll review developer 24's code, where I did show you how to loop through the fields, but again, you still got to know the field names. So we'll talk about all of that in lesson one, and that will explain why we're building this function. In lesson two, we're going to start writing the copy record subroutine. We're going to loop through all of the fields, and then we're going to avoid the specified primary key, but we're going to specify it first. Then 
in the next lesson, we'll learn how to not specify it. In lesson three, we're going to get rid of having to specify what the primary key field name is. We're just going to replace it with a basic where condition. Then we're going to learn about the field attributes and the auto increment field attribute, which basically means this field is an auto number. So now we can detect the auto number, the primary key, instead of having to tell what it is. In lesson four, we're going to start off by writing a function to list all of the table indexes in a table's table def so we can see what the indexed fields are. Then we'll determine what the fields in each index are. And knowing this information, then we can write a function to determine if a specific field is unique. So I can say, hey, is the email address unique? In other words, is it index no duplicates? That's what we're going to do in this lesson. In lesson five, we are going to take that is field unique function and put it inside of our copy records function, which we're going to make a function now, so that we can check all the fields before we copy them and make sure they're not index no duplicates. We're going to add some error handling, and then we're going to turn copy records into a function and return the value of the newly created record so we can do stuff with it, like open up the form to that new record. Cool stuff. 